my mother's family who fought in the American Revolution, were prisoner of war with the British to help found this country, did not fight and die to form the United States so that this kind of chicanery can go on. What is happening? Something is going on. Can you feel the way? Welcome to Spiral Into It. I'm Fisk Smith. This is the first part of a two episode program dealing with a breaking story Project Disclosure and Dr. Stephen Greer. Project Disclosure is a nonprofit organization calling for congressional hearings on the UFO extraterrestrial question and also calling for a ban on space based weapons. But first, this. After September 11th, 2001, our world is truly not the same. On Spiral Into It, we've tried to cover the voices of peace, the voices of change, the voices of dissent, and the voices of the innocent. Our shows have covered the anti-globalization movement, its sub-issues of economic democracy, corporate greed, big oil versus new energy, and the patenting of life forms. The challenge to present an alternative view is becoming increasingly difficult. Because of the tragic events of September 11, 2001, the country has developed a blind, patriotic trend. Either you're with us or you're against us. Is the other half of the American public that questions this blind authority the enemy? I can think of nothing more unpatriotic or un-American as the suppression of dissent. Now more than ever, the world has to come together and not be separated. A call for unity is more in order. Before September 11, 2001, the anti-globalization movement was making inroads to the hearts and minds of America. Our national security depends on alternatives to oil. Our world security depends on healthy food, clean air, and biodiversity. On Spiral Into It, we will continue to present these voices. This special two-part episode of Spiral Into It is breaking coverage of a news conference held by Dr. Stephen Greer at the National Press Club on May 9, 2001. It is Spiral Into It's continuing effort to inform the public on the greatest story never told. UFOs, extraterrestrials, and government secrecy. What is happening? Something is going on. Can you feel the way? We are here today to disclose the truth about a subject that has been ridiculed and questioned, denied for at least 50 years. The men and women who are on this stage and the some 350 additional military intelligence witnesses to the so-called UFO matter and extraterrestrial intelligence can prove and will prove that we are not alone. In 1993, a group of uh, military advisors to this project and I met out in the countryside in Virginia. And we decided that it was time for civilians, military, intelligence, and other people to come together to disclose the truth about the subject which is called UFOs. Since that time, I have personally briefed a sitting director of Central Intelligence, James Woolsey, President Clinton's first CIA director. I have personally briefed the head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, the head of Intelligence Joint Staff, members of the Senate Intelligence Committee, many members of Congress, members of the European leadership, the Japanese cabinet and others. And what I have found is that none of them are surprised that this is true, but they are uniformly horrified that they have not had access to these projects. We can establish through these witnesses whom we have identified, which now number over 400, 
And these are people who have been inside the CIA, NSA, NRO, Air Force, Navy, Marines, Army, all divisions of the intelligence and military community, as well as corporate witnesses, contractors to the government. And these are folks who have been involved in so-called black budget or covert unacknowledged projects. These unacknowledged special access projects are taking in at least 40 to 80 billion dollars per year. And they are sitting on technologies that can change the world forever. The reason we are coming forward now is that we are asking for the U.S. Congress and for President Bush to move towards an official inquiry and disclosure on this subject. It has the most profound implications for the human future, for the U.S. national security, and for world peace. Specifically, technologies connected to UFO and extraterrestrial vehicles, if declassified and used for peaceful energy generation and propulsion, would solve the looming energy crisis definitively, would end global warming, would correct the environmental challenges that the Earth is facing. It is also critical that we begin to debate as a society the propriety of placing weapons in space. If indeed, as we can prove, it is true that we are not alone and that space is territory which we are sharing with other civilizations, it could be a very imprudent, destabilizing thing to place weapons in space. This is not being debated because it is off the national and international radar screens. It needs to be placed on it, and we are here today to do it. We can establish through this testimony that these objects of extraterrestrial origin have been tracked on radar going thousands of miles per hour, stopping and making right-hand turns. That they use anti-gravity propulsion systems, which we have already figured out how they work in classified projects in the United States, Great Britain, and elsewhere. That these objects have landed on terra firma, at times have been disabled, and have been retrieved specifically by teams within the United States that extraterrestrial life forms have been retrieved and their vehicles have been taken and studied thoroughly for at least 50 years. We can prove through the testimony and documents that we will be presenting that this subject has been hidden from members of Congress and at least two administrations that we are aware of, presidential administrations and that the Constitution of the United States has been subverted by the growing power of these classified projects and that this is a danger to the national security. There is no evidence, I wish to emphasize, that these life forms from elsewhere are hostile towards us, but there is a great deal of evidence that they are concerned with our hostility. There are times when they have neutralized or rendered inert the launch capabilities of intercontinental ballistic missiles, witnesses here today will describe those events to you. They have shown clearly that they do not want us to weaponize space, and yet we are proceeding down that dangerous path. And it will be established that these projects, because they have not been supervised properly by the Congress, by the U.S. President, by the international community, have become a threat to the national security. And for this reason, we feel we must disclose the facts.